Hello, everybody, and welcome to another figure study where we appreciate the form in Transformers. Today, I'm doing the third party thing again, and we are looking at the Eavi, Eavi Metal Phase 5 Opticlones from Keith's Fantasy Club, or KFC, if you want to do that and think of fried chicken. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard not to think of fried chicken. Anyway, so, Keith's Fantasy Club Opticlones. I'm just going to call them the Opticlones for the sake of easiness. So, they are a third-party version, a, a masterpiece scale third-party version of Reflector. And this is the, the, the alt mode, the camera mode. It is actually a very, very nice looking camera mode, I have to say. It's, you know, a little, little different from a lot of the other ones we've seen, and of course the official cartoon and toy, but I really dig it. It's, you know, I like the the lens and the flash are a little bit weird how they just color wise stand out so much but i do like it i also like how you can actually see into the lens there and see the shutter it's a very nice touch and of course uh well i'll show that later but you can pop this off so this is coming off the stand that's okay just pull the tripod off that was like a little groove thing there that just slots under there. So tripod off to the side for now. We will be coming back to that though. So right here we've got their alt mode and this is an impressive looking camera honestly. Like yeah it's not necessarily accurate but uh, it's a good size, good dimensions, some good heft to it. I do actually like the fact that, I mean yes I know it's not accurate but I like the fact that the back is just like a sort of a uniform look it doesn't need to be like super fancy or anything like that and I, I actually honestly was always kind of bothered by the uh the the you know these two are facing backwards and this one is facing forwards of other versions of this specifically like the the official one and say like the perfect effect i mean i love the perfect effect set which you know there's you've probably already seen the video of if you've watched some of these but uh I do like the uniformity in the back here. And you know, it's uh it's relatively clean all the way around. And I do definitely like the front, how these panels that ultimately end up on the, the robot's backs, I like how they create just like this flat front. It makes it look like more of a solid, you know, solid cohesive design, a solid camera. And the big panel in the front here looks nice as well. I uh, think it's kind of funny that the flash can move around, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, there's, there's just some nice little details here. On, on the underside, of course, it's all robot thighs, but it looks good. It looks very, very good, and I dig the proportions. It's, a, you know, probably a little bit too big for a, <laughs> for a, for a camera at this point just with how technology has gone, but I dig it. It looks good. Like I said, the only thing that kind of is weird to me is how the lens and the flash are the only thing on, they're the only things in this entire alt mode that are black. And it just kind of seems a little weird. Like they just stand out a little too much. But the lens can just pop right off. I'll put that off to the side. And this is what you could actually see through the lens. You can actually see the uh, the shutter right there. It's, it's very cool. And you can see a little bit more of the detail in here, just like the line work and the paint. There's some very nice paint. Now let me get the flash. Remove the flash. Oh, the flash doesn't want to come off. Okay. I have to do this the uh, inelegant way. <laughs> okay. So... Taking a little bit of a closer look at the flash. The flash has some nice detail on it. Just some basic line work and stuff, and some stuff on the inside, which we'll get to. But I like, you know, very nice clean silver paint. So it's, it's a decent looking flash. It gets the job done. Now coming back to the lens. These guys. 
out of the way. Then back to the lens, you know, it's the see-through. But, you know, there's some nice, just some nice line work around the outside. And on the inside, it's just kind of whatever, but uh, yeah, it looks good. And I do, again, really like how when this is attached, you can see right through to the shutter. It's a nice touch. Of course, without all the accessories, it's just kind of this weird box. But yeah, camera. Camera looks good. It's a nice shade of purple, nice shades of gray, nice bit of green, the red lines in here kind of matching up with the little design there. Again, it's just the black of the lens and the, and the flash just seem a little out of place to me. I'm not saying it looks bad, just it, it doesn't quite mesh with everything else. But anyway, I'm going to go look at these guys in the robot modes now because uh, the robot modes are very cool. Be right back. Here we have the Keith's Fantasy Club Opticlones in all of their glory. Well, in one of their glory. Here come the other two. Yeah. That will do nicely. So, uh, I will say right off the bat, uh, I knocked the little lens inside of this guy's chest slightly askew, so it's kind of pointing up that way a little bit. And well, During transformation, I just kind of pushed it wrong, and now it's all, yeah. And I don't want to open them up and deal with it right now. But anyway, these guys look fantastic. And it's funny because I love the Perfect Effect Assault Force set, which there's the, you know, I do have a video on them if you haven't checked it out already. I love that set, and I love the individuality that each of the bots have. But then conversely with this set, I actually really love the uniformity that they all have. The fact that aside from this little lens piece in the center guy here, there's like no difference between any of them, at least from the front. And I just, that really appeals to me. I think that's really cool. I like it very much. Color-wise, I think it's interesting. I mean, all the colors that were on, that were visible on the camera, with the exception of the white for the thighs here, were, you know, it's all the same colors represented here. But it's an interesting distribution with the baby blue for the shins, the white for the thighs, and then like the purple for the feet and the, uh, other parts of the legs and then like this gray for the fists arms shoulders sh like all that stuff it's a it's an interesting mix of colors i think it works but it's a little bit weird and of course you've got the green for the chest and the silver that really just pops and looks fantastic detail wise you know these two on the ends are identical except for the fact that they just have like this guy has his leg tab on his right leg. This guy has it on his left leg. Other than that, they're identical. But you can see the amount of detail in here. Get these fellows off to the sides. So they don't mess with my focus. Okay. So yeah, the detail is really nice. Like there are these very nice crisp lines in the torso and some very nice paint. A little uh, red and white thing there. You can actually make out too a lot of little almost imperceptible molded details in the arms which are very nice. There's not a ton of molded detail to the uh, to the robot modes, but I think that's mostly because they're meant to evoke the cartoon, and the cartoons, you know, didn't have a ton of detail, but there are just a lot of really nice, crisp, little, minuscule details just kind of hiding all over these figures. Looks really, really nice. And the back. All that kind of tucks away nicely. And then there's the somewhat unsightly backpack, but you know, <laughs> you're not going to be looking at them that way. You're going to be looking at them this way. 
And they all have the same face sculpt too. So I'm not going to spend too much time going into all of them, but it's a very nice face, very kind of plain, but I dig it. And I like how uh, the helmet, it's the same overall design as a lot of the other third party figures, but it's a little bit wider, a little bit shorter. I think it works. It gives them just a little slightly stockier looking head, which I think proportionally works a lot better. And I do really like these vents that are in the, uh, little bit no okay i do really like these they're very hard to see again but they're just like these little grooves for vents in the shoulders that look very very nice these are very cool looking guys and of course for the center guy grab him he is pretty much identical to the other two except for this in his chest here and again that's kind of slightly crooked because of my own silliness but yeah it looks nice very nice paint you can see like a little bit of a shutter in there and that is an led which can be switched on which i'm not going to do right now because i have a whole other video for installing all that but uh yeah it's it's a nice little you know nice little shutter details in there nice little molded details around the outside it's very very nice now, his backpack is slightly different than the other two, or a lot different. Again, not the biggest fan of this, but, you know, they had to get out of the way somehow. And honestly, when you're looking at it from the front, you can't even tell it's there, really. The only other main difference with him is he doesn't have the vents in his shoulders. They're just these flat surfaces, which is because this uh, actually, yeah, which is because the, uh, this is like the viewfinder section of the camera, so this is all smooth. Yeah, they are. They are a really impressive set. And the, <laughs> the transformation on them is kind of involved, but, you know, the results, you can't argue with the results. Now, the lens... I'm not going to dwell too much on this, but the lens itself actually breaks up into three sections. So sort of like, you know, splits into three sections like this. There's this tab that can come down, and then you can actually take the legs of the tripod here. There we go. And you can attach that from there and curl all this around and you make a gun. A little classic sci-fi looking laser gun. And because of how it breaks up, you get three of these guns. And it's, it's very, very nice how that works. And then of course you've got the flash that uh, the flash that flips out, you get handles, and then you can pull this open and you get some nice missiles in there. Even a little bit more molding in there, too. And the, I really am impressed by how crisp the paint is on the little tips of the missiles there. Yeah, it's it looks good. It's a little bit awkward for uh, getting them to hold it because you have to either have them like hold it in two hands or have them hold it like on its side or something. I kind of wish that this could have clipped in on a shoulder or a forearm somewhere, but eh, whatever. Point is... They look great. You know, there are little issues here and there, like these panels that are a little bit loose, and you can kind of see like the seams in there. But honestly, I don't mind being, I don't mind seeing a little bit of the line, of, like the purple lines in there. I think it looks good. It's just a really, really, really impressive looking set. And I love just posing these guys in goofy poses and having them on the shelf and just admiring how awesome they are. So, they're just, yeah, they're just great. Anyway, that has been my look at the KFC Opticlones. Thank you for watching, everybody. And as per usual, art is more than meets the eye.